Hello, I'm Bishop Walsh of the Diocese of Gaylord. As we continue to celebrate the National Eucharistic Revival, we have chosen the theme, Come to the Table, for our 2024 Catholic Services Appeal. This theme reminds us that a rich banquet of Christ's sacrificial love is prepared so we can feast and satisfy our soul longing for God. United as one family at the table, we are offered an opportunity to share His love with others and support the mission of the church. CSA supported ministries touch the lives of thousands of people in our diocese, our state, and around the world. This is a time when you can directly ensure our ministries and social outreach programs continue to serve those who are most in need. Thanks to the generosity of our parishioners, we can continue our mission of passing on the gospel for generations to come. Last year, we raised $3.9 million, of which $350,000 was returned to the parishes who exceeded their goal. These funds allowed us to proclaim the gospel care for the poor and vulnerable, support parishes through diocesan services, provide faith formation, and continue clergy and pastoral support. Our diocese is filled with stories of those who directly benefit from your generous donation. Like Mr. and Mrs. Sims of Boyne, who attended the Day of Reflection for liturgical ministers, this special diocesan-wide event aimed to foster love of the Lord and the Eucharist and enrich the ministries at our parishes. Well, we attended, and I think we both got an enormous amount from it. it kind of re-energized us. These workshops help develop your faith. Every time I've been to one, I hear something new that I take home with me, and it reinforced the necessity of working together. As a choir member, you don't always necessarily know, you know, if it is having a positive impact. And this was reinforcing that music's important and that we are an integral part. And I think it enriched everybody and the importance of their role within the liturgy itself. Skip and I contribute to the CSA because it's necessary. And one of the things that our money is going for is to help deepen the faith of all the people who serve in our diocese. It's an efficient way for us to give and have a meaningful impact. St. Mary of the Woods in Kalkaska was in desperate need of replacing old and leaking windows. No small expense. Our diocesan development team stepped up to help. The existing church was built in 1957. Our windows now need to be replaced because they're letting water in, they're letting heat out, cool air during the summer, and we have very huge electric and heat bills. So we need to replace those. We're talking $108,000. I've never done a capital campaign before, and I didn't know how to do it, so I reached out to the development office and they have been very helpful in giving us support and guidance. We're not in this alone. We'll have a better financial campaign to generate the funds that we need for this, and it is because of the development office. We need to help with CSA. We need to support our diocese, because without them and without that staffing, we could be lost. For many people in our diocese, the ability to watch Mass via streaming or broadcast television is critical to their staying connected to the faith. CSA helps to fund this important outreach for shut-ins. We're going back to one of the students at St. Mary's who went to Mass on a daily basis. Since my accident, I can watch it on a, a daily basis. It gives us that contact with our religion that we wouldn't normally have. Faith takes you a long ways. It's what keeps me going for doing the exercise, keep moving, and that's my little booster shot every day. If it wasn't for the CSA funding and donations that people give, including myself, I wouldn't have access to the Mass. Other people wouldn't have access to their religion. And it really gives a lot of encouragement 
especially when you look at people that are getting, you know, older in age, getting in their final days. That really means a lot to them. CSA supports vocational events that provide invaluable assistance in a man's discernment about priesthood. It's critical that we help our young men become the next generation of holy priests to ensure the sacraments are celebrated, the faith is taught, and the gospel is proclaimed. Every diocese needs an active vocation recruitment strategy. The Diocese of Gaylord is, is short on priests. We have about three parishes for every priest, and I think somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 people per priest. One of the number one barriers is simply men can't imagine themselves as priests. Growing up, I always had a, like a weird idea of what a priest is, and like a priest is someone who says Mass and prays all day long and has no fun in their life. One of the other things that I do is to try and take young men to go visit seminary. And the young men said, wow, I didn't realize that they're just like me. Visiting seminaries greatly reassured myself that um, this isn't something to be afraid of. Your CSA dollars help us produce the promotional material, the prayer cards, the posters that invite people to pray for vocations across the diocese. They help fund the events that we do to get young men to think about the priesthood, maybe for the first time, including going and visiting seminaries where they can see themselves in those other seminarians. And they go to help bring our seminarians back together with our bishop at those, those events throughout the year that help us to grow as brothers and, God willing, future priests of the Diocese of Gaylor. My name is Father Joe Moskevich. I'm the pastor of St. Patrick Parish and also of St. Mary's of Hannah. I invite you to join me in supporting the Catholic Services Appeal. We often just think of the local church as our parish and we support our parish, but our local church actually is the Diocese of Gaylord. So please join me. I know I'm gonna be supporting it this year and I hope you do too. Through your generosity, we renew our strength in Christ and ensure the flourishing life of every aspect of Catholic life in our diocese. I pray that God's grace continues to shine upon you and your families and that your generosity serves as an inspiration to others. Hope to see you at the most important table, the altar of the Lord. God bless.